This weekend's confrontations between police and protesters have raised several legal issues for those both hurt and arrested. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor tonight spoke with legal experts on whether they think the punishment matched the alleged crimes. He's live in downtown to tell us more. Caleb. Hunter, after the first night of protests led to dozens of arrests, Sheriff David Gladio said a judge gave them the legal right to detain protesters for 48 hours over the weekend without bond. That has raised the larger concern of what's actually legal during a protest. It's an it's a OR, they can go in, get their picture taken, fingerprint right back out the door, and that is going to take that. So, okay. the yeah, judges have the authority to do that. Allen County Sheriff David Gladio said they have the legal right to detain protesters over the weekend without bond. David Frank, the president of the Indiana chapter of National Lawyers Guild, confirmed that was allowed by law. When you're being held over the weekend, obviously, you know, uh, you're not immediately able to go before a judge, but they should be being released at their initial hearing unless there's some sort of extraordinary circumstances. However, he says what isn't legal is some of the police action that took place at the protest. Uh, say a, uh, a protester is in the street, they haven't dispersed, and they're sitting down and they're violating the law, but they're acting nonviolently. Again, that doesn't give an officer carte blanche to use whatever force they want against that individual. It has to be reasonable in the, in the situation. What he's referring to are incidents like Balin Brake, who lost his eye after being hit with a tear gas canister. Frank explained that while use of tear gas, as long as it's just a mild irritant, can be seen as reasonable, shooting them towards people and whether it's skipped off the ground or not could mean the agency is liable. Michelle Kelsey is a professor of communications at Purdue Fort Wayne studying protests throughout history. She says the biggest issue for protesters is while they may be breaking the law, the response isn't proportional. There is, I think, a distinction between one protester, for example, tossing or throwing um, a water bottle at police officers who are in riot gear and the response being to tear gas an entire intersection of protesters. Kelsey said this is partly what civil rights movement was about, civil disobedience to raise awareness. And she says the legality discussion could have been avoided if we saw on Friday what we saw on Sunday. De-escalation tactics that the police know about, are trained in, can work in these types of groups. It just can't be disingenuous. Frank said that he's working with other members of the Indiana chapter of the National Lawyers Guild to connect those who feel they were either wrongly arrested or injured during the protest. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News. If you have legal concerns about the protest this weekend, you're encouraged to reach out to an attorney.